Ladies, I want to talk to you today about an epidemic in America, and that is pornography. It is truly of epidemic proportions. It is a, an addiction that is, is just as hard to break as a cocaine habit. That's what new research is showing. It is just as addictive as cocaine, heroin. This is bad stuff. And if you have had this invade your household and you've realized your husband is struggling with pornography, it's heartbreaking. And I get that. But here's what I want to say. If you respond to your husband like he is a loser, he's scum, he's disgusting, you hate him, how is he going to respond to that kind of reaction from you? Probably he's going to shut down, he's going to continue to self-medicate through alcohol, drugs, pornography, whatever, because now he feels like he's a complete failure. A better approach, may I suggest, is to take a stand against pornography for sure. You're not going to say, oh, well, whatever, you know, all guys do it. No, not that. But to have a compassionate approach will work so much better if he knows that you're actually for him despite the fact that your heart is broken, and I get that. But the ultimate goal here is that he would break free. And you can be his helper in that, to come alongside of him and say, this is not okay. This is how this affects me. I need you to stop this, but I'm in this with you. I'm gonna fight with you. Let's come up with a battle plan. You are a good man with a good heart. You're just ensnared in an addiction that has trapped so many men, but I'm here with you. And we're gonna come up with a battle plan for you to break free of this thing. If he knows that you are for him, it's gonna be much more likely that he's going to do the hard work necessary to break free from this addiction. So come up with that battle plan, but be a compassionate, helper through this. The second thing I want to share with you is he needs accountability and it shouldn't be you. You cannot be the porn police. You don't want to be the porn police, but he does need godly men in his life that can hold his feet to the fire, who can keep him accountable. He needs most likely to be in some kind of a, a long-term program for pornography addiction, for addictions of any kind, a, a Christian-based 12-step recovery program, a sexual addict recovery program. There are many programs like this all around the country. He needs to be in that kind of situation, or at least with one or two godly Christian men that can be his accountability partners. There's so much healing that comes when your husband becomes honest with other men. That's where the healing really begins to happen, right? When you drag the, the evil deeds of darkness out into the light. In fact, let me just relate to you a Bible verse, James 5, 16. Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for each other so that you may be healed. Your husband needs that serious accountability. A couple of thoughts on how you can deal with this epidemic in America called pornography.